DCP Shiv Kumar, Sunil Dutt, an honest, brave and upright police officer, returns home to his wife Sheetal, Rakhi Gulzar, and their young daughter Guddi, announcing that he has been transferred to Mumbai. He has two younger brothers Vijay, Amitabh Bachchan, and Ravi, Shashi Kapoor, who live in Mumbai, but spend their time indulging in crooked schemes. During their escapades, the duo get entangled with Renu, Bindiya Goswami, and Sunita, Paveen Babi, two equally crooked girls with whom they eventually join forces along with Renu's paternal uncle, Chacha, Johnny Walker. As time passes, Ravi finds himself falling for Renu and Vijay for Sunita. Vijay and Ravi are also assisted with information about shady characters by a legless beggar named Abdul Majhar Khan. Shortly after his arrival with Sheetal and Guddi in Mumbai, Shiv comes to know that Vijay and Ravi are carrying out scam as two religious leaders who claim to walk on water. He catches them both red-handed in the act, and is forced to arrest the duo for their crimes. Vijay and Ravi are visited in prison by Sheetal, who laments their role of petty thieves. At the same time, Shiv targets some smugglers operating in Mumbai and it eventually turns out that the underworld is monitored by the sadistic international crime lord Shakal Kulbhushan Kharbanda from his headquarters on a remote island outside India while funding crime in Mumbai and rejoicing in pain of his rivals and traitors. His island is equipped with hidden cameras and all sorts of automatic gadgets including a pack of hunting dogs and a man-eating crocodile in an artificial pond below a rotating table with seats. Shiv penetrates Shakal's gang with the help of his informer Ranjit Sudhir, who works as one of Shakal's own henchmen. However, Shakal outsmarts Ranjit and kills him by throwing him into the artificial pond as a prey of the man-eating crocodile, Uddharan Chene. Furthermore, a mysterious man, Shatrughan Simha, attempts to shoot Shiv twice in the city. But Shiv survives both times. He proceeds to release Vijay and Ravi from prison in hopes of shaping them into a much honorable life. After learning about the two murderous attempts on Shiv, Vijay and Ravi advise him to find a different line of work. Arguing that his current profession is unsuitable. Dangerous and unpredictable for a family man. However, Shiv stands firm by citing his undying patriotic commitment to his corpse and his country. Due to the fact that Shiv is getting closer to finding out the root of the criminal acts in Mumbai, Shakal has Shiv abducted and brought to his island by his henchmen, where he reveals that he had only arranged the two previous unsuccessful murderous attempts on Shiv and bribes him to join his criminal force. But Shiv chooses to die in his own line of duty and nearly escapes the island. After a long chase between Shiv and the pack of hunting dogs, Shakal shoots Shiv to his death on the beach from his helicopter and has his corpse dumped back to Mumbai. Uddharan, as Vijay, Ravi and Sheetal lament the tragic loss of Shiv. The mysterious man approaches them and introduces himself as Rakesh, a marksman and former circus performer who used to shoot targets blindfolded. Rakesh confesses that Shakal had held his wife hostage and blackmailed him to shoot Shiv, and that he deliberately missed on the two previous occasions in hopes of buying time to save his wife. In retaliation, Rakesh's abducted wife was released by Shakal in a car with faulty brakes and was killed in an exploding car accident, which Rakesh tried to prevent but failed to do so. Upon learning this, Vijay and Ravi ally with Rakesh in hopes of destroying the underworld monitored by Shakal in revenge of both Shiv and Rakesh's wife's deaths. To that end, the trio seek the aid of Abdul who provides them information about Shakal's contraband warehouse. In Mumbai, although the trio manage to blow up the warehouse, Shakal retaliates by having his henchmen target Sheetal and Guddi, 
but Rakesh uses his deadly rifle skills to protect them both. While on and around a bridge in a farmhouse with a stable full of horses. Later, Abdul is chased by Shakal's henchmen in the middle of the night and his death occurs after being forced off a bridge which is raised even as he attempts to cross it. However, a furious Vijay breaks into a local bar with back offices, where Shakal's henchmen spend time playing cards. He smashes up the bar and beats up Shakal's henchmen for killing Abdul. On this development, Shakal is deeply frustrated with his henchmen before having them abduct Sheetal in hopes of causing the trio a lot of suffer to death. Though it would have appeared that the trio are able to concede defeat over Sheetal's imminent fate. They are approached by one of Shakal's aides named Jagmohan. Mac Mohan who offers them his help to gain entry at Shakal's island. As he was brutally crippled by Shakal for his previous failure, posing as a dance troupe, the trio, along with Renu, Chacha and Sunita, are able to enter the island and perform for Shakal, who later captures them all and reveals that he had only sent Jagmohan, who was faking his injuries, to trap them. However, Chacha creates a commotion that allows the trio to be freed and kill Jagmohan and the rest of Shakal's henchmen. Uddharan Chene. This involves in a fight with the man-eating crocodile in the artificial pond that is eventually overcome by Vijay. While Ravi and Rakesh also gain the upper hand in the fight sequences in a gas-filled chamber. Just as the trio finally succeed in capturing Shakal and are about to kill him using his automatic gadgets, Sheetal intervenes and refuses to let them, pointing out that doing so can be disrespectful to the law that Shiv upholds. The arguing commotion allows Shakal to free himself, forcing the trio to fatally shoot him down in self-defense. However, Shakal slyly pulls the lever and sets the island to self-destruct before he dies. Despite this, the trio, along with Sheetal, Renu, Chacha and Sunita, are able to escape the exploding island on a helicopter to safety. Satisfied that they have beaten Shakal in his tracks for good. Uddharan